hey guys welcome back to my channel it's been a hot minute um summer school took over i took both of my capstones simultaneously online so i didn't really have time to film or edit anything but i just finished school two days ago and now i have all the time in the world because i don't have a job <laughs> so keep on watching if you want to find out how i got this makeup look all right so i did my brows off camera and now I'm just going to go in with my Morphe foundation in the shade F2.40. I'm just going to take it on this Morphe brush M6. I never really liked beauty blenders, but this brush is amazing. Alright, so I don't really put that much foundation on because it's really thick and like full less coverage. And then I use their concealer in the shade C225. And this is also really thick and full coverage. So I take a little bit under my eyes, not too much. Because I don't want to look cakey. Too much of this can make you look real cakey. A little down on my nose. And then also on the eyelids, this is how I prime my eyes for eyeshadow. And just using the same brush, we're gonna blend this out. All right, after we blend that, I'm just gonna take the Morphe um, Bacon Set Setting Powder in the shade Banana. And I just have a simple Real Techniques sponge. And I just go in with some of that and start to bake. I bake all the places that I set the concealer with so that it doesn't crease or that I don't get too oily throughout the day. I used to try a lot of setting powders in my back in the day. And let me tell you, this one is like, okay. I mean, it's like, what? I think it's like 12 bucks. So, you know, you get your money's worth. But I've also tried the Makeup Forever powder. That gave me major flashback. My under eyes were white in pictures. I also tried Laura Mercier. I loved it. But, you know, I was like way broke back then. I'm gonna <laughs> afford to keep refilling on that. I've also tried the Too Faced one. It's not that bad. But like Morphe, we have a Morphe store in the at the mall, the city over. So I just get everything from there, which is nice. But yeah, I mean Morphe does the job. It's not like five star, but I definitely say three and a half. So usually while I wait for the powder to set and bake, I bronze and blush up. And today I'm gonna be using the Nikita Dragon. Uh, not Nikita Dragon, the Dragon Beauty face palette um my sister got me this for my birthday because i asked for it and it's just so dang pretty i mixed these two colors because this one's a little too dark and this one's obviously too light Oop. yeah so i just go in with a morphe e4 brush angled dip into the color femme and surge and just start bronzing away. I always bronze because I'm not that big of a fan of like contour. Like honestly, I don't really know the difference between <laughs> bronzing and contouring. Like I know contour is supposed to go first and then you bronze, but I think you can contour with bronzer just fine. So I always just take some bronzer and just bronze my face and then I'll clean it up with some um translucent powder to make it more the cheekbones more sharp so it looks like I might have contoured but I didn't oh I'm already getting warm and now and now we're gonna contour the nose a little bit this is just a BH Cosmetics brush number 121. I got this years ago. Don't know if they still sell it. But yeah, I'm going to use the same contour as I did for my face on my nose. 
but a lot lighter because a little goes a long way. I learned that the first time. So. <laughs> See, a little goes a long way. And if you put too much, that's okay because then you can just wipe it off with some translucent powder. Oh wow. I don't have a light enough hand to do this. Awesome. It looks worse in my mirror. <laughs> but yeah, just gonna boop 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 boop. Okay. And now for blush, I'm gonna take this one, Tea Girl. It is super gorgeous. So pretty. I'm gonna take a BH Cosmetics 113 brush. Again, bought this a long time ago. Don't know if they still sell it. I think I got these um, on my BH brushes like, mm, I wanna say like high school or like my first year of college. But yeah, look at how pretty that is. And like the color in the pan is very like shimmery, but on the cheeks, it doesn't show that shimmery. It's very subtle, but it's still beautiful. Boom. That's done. Oh my god, do you guys still keep these covers, these plastic covers on your palettes? Because I sure do. I don't know why, because they still get dirty, but I just keep them in there. Next, we're gonna go in with eyeshadow. I'm gonna still let my under eyes bake, just so you know, clean up my eyes. Um, I have this whole palette, or I have this whole drawer of makeup palettes, eyeshadow palettes to choose from. Um, I think I'm gonna use the old palette that I have because I've been playing a lot with the new ones I have. So yeah, let's see what we have. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, wow. Well. No, I feel like no. Maybe this is super old. Look at that. Look how dirty it is. I think I'm gonna clean it. Mm, I don't know. I pass. I've used so many times. I just want to play with my new palettes. Mm, no. This is a new one. Okay, it's still in the box. Put the box over there. Oh, it's so pretty. Mm, no. Even though I want to, but no. Actually, maybe. That's a maybe. This one. Oh. Did y'all see that? Oh, it's broken. Oh, there's two shadows broken. Oh my god, a bunch of it just fell all over my leg. Damn it. Oh my god. Okay, so this palette is a no, but I'm gonna have to fix it since I didn't know those broke. Oh, I'm so sad. I have the Jim Charles palette. Um, maybe. Actually, no. I'll skip this one today. And the Jaclyn Hill palette, which I'm just gonna say yes to because this is just really pretty and then I really want to play with the blues so we're gonna play with these two today the Jaclyn Hill times Morphe this is her first palette that came out and then the Morphe 3503 fierce by nature we're gonna play with those two so first I'm just gonna wipe off all the powder from my eyelids from earlier And now we're gonna start with hmm. and now we're gonna go in with trans to set is that yeah it's matte to set the lid 
This is also a BH brush, super, super, super old. All right, so after we packed on our base shade, I'm gonna take a Morphe E27 brush and take the shade, hmm. I'm gonna take the one right next to it. It's called Consume, this light orange. And just pop that into the upper crease. I'm gonna stamp it first to get the color in there, but I don't want too much color. And then blend. Also, if you hear any noise in the background, I do have YouTube playing in the background because I don't like it when it's too silent. So right now I'm watching Desi Perkins, her pregnancy Q&A. Oh, I'm so happy. She's having a baby. If any of you guys watch her fertility journey on her Perkins channel, oh, amazing. 10 out of 10. I cried every single video. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. But be prepared to cry. It's so sweet. Alrighty, I got the color Consume up in our crease. Now I'm going to think I'm going to go in with the... Jacqueline palette. Let me look what shades there are. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade, I think it's this one right here, Buns, and try to deepen up my crease a little bit with a Morphe E22 brush. So I don't know what kind of video this is. Get ready with me, a tutorial. I'm not sure because I don't even know what I'm doing with my eyeshadow. I just know I just wanted to play with a blue shade. But yeah, I guess it's more like a get ready with me experiment. I am not a makeup artist, by the way. I am not a makeup guru. I am a makeup lover. Alright, I deepened my crease with the color buns. And I want to deepen the outer corner a little more. And I think I'm going to go in with... A light touch of where is it Roxanne right here just a little bit because these shadows are super duper uber pigmented and I have a Morphe M139 brush sorry I keep looking to the side it's because I have my mirror here this is a iHome mirror it has two light settings Bluetooth speaker all that I don't really use the Bluetooth. I used to back when I first got it, but I don't know, I stopped using it. All right, now it's the fun part. I don't know if I should do a cut crease or just go in with, because I really want to play with full party. Look at that. Like, look at that. Like, I really want to play with her. But I have, like, I'm still learning how to properly put on, like, pigmented shimmer, not pigmented, but, like, really colorful shimmer shadows. Like, when it comes off on my finger, beautiful. But when it goes on my eyelid, it's not as pigmented. It's not as, like, colorful as it is in the pan. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of glitter glue, if I can find it. I think I'm going to take a little bit of the Too Faced shadow insurance glitter glue on a small flat brush clean this brush real quick this is a morphe 213 I'm just gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand and just test one eye out if it'll come out there we go <laughs> it's breaded like a little noodle Just take a little bit of that and then kind of pack it on. This stuff is amazing. I love it. I see this all the time with like loose glitters and oh my god it was so pretty. But the process was so messy. 
in community college, I used to do like loose glitter looks every day. Like the NYX loose glitters. I had so many of those and I would just freaking put glitter all over my eyelids for school. <laughs> I mean, some people tell me it told me I look nice, but I'm pretty sure my mom was like, "What the hell are you doing? School? Why is your eyelids filled with glitter? Wow, wow, that is blue. Holy shit!" And done. Holy cow. That is so pretty. But I'm gonna go back in with Roxanne and just kind of blend it together. But I'm gonna take a smaller brush, the Morphe M506. Just a tiny bit of Roxanne. That's done. Um, we're gonna wipe off this bake now finally, the rest of this translucent powder or setting powder. My bad, it's not translucent. So I'm just going to take the Morphe, wow look at that, I use all Morphe stuff, Morphe sponsor me, just kidding, just kidding. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use the, their Morphe Blackout Liquid Liner, and I'm just going to draw a straight line, so that when I put lashes on, it blends in, and there are no color gaps. It's very messy, but the lash will cover it, so that's fine. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes, put on mascara, and then all that good stuff. So this is a brand new mascara. I just opened it today, just the L'Oreal Luminous Paradise. I'm not really that into mascara, which is why I buy a bunch of drugstore ones, because I don't feel like spending 30 bucks on a mascara when I can just spend 10. And so it looks just fine. Okay, so for lashes, it's either between the Lily Lashes in Mega Nose Light. I've worn these a couple times already. Or the Lily Lashes. The Lily Lashes. And this one's my Mink Miami. And this one is like super pretty. But I think I'm going to stick with the original Miami. Because I haven't worn that in a while. I've been wearing the Mega Nose Light. A lot. So I'm just gonna pop on these lashes. Done. And we're just gonna put some shadow on the waterline. I'm gonna go back in with the is this Fierce by Nature palette in the color. Hmm. Something we're gonna go with Disrupt right here. I'm gonna take her on a was this a the lug was gone but this was a i think the naked smoky is this smoky palette one of the naked palettes is brush i'm gonna use the finer tip dip into disrupt and pack that on the waterline <laughs> Oh, I'm taking the color Domination and just packing that to make it look darker. I'm actually going to go back into that blue color, the pool party, and connect it into my inner corner. And I'm going to take a Morphe E36 brush and just kind of push that into the corner of my eye to make it more blue, to make it pop more, and kind of dr slightly drag it down there, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna take the same mascara on my lower lash, just a little bit, not too much. And then I'm actually going to go back in with the Dragon Beauty Face Palette. I feel like the translucent powder from earlier kind of lightened my face up a bit. So back in the same brush, a little bit of Surgeon Femme. Yeah, we're going to go in the 
Natasha Denona, this lighter gold color. I think that one's called Diamond Powder or Super Glow. I think it's called Diamond Powder. And we're just going to take the Morphe M451 brush and ooh. And now we're going to take a small, this is BH Cosmetics, don't know what kind of brush this is, detail brush. And I'm going to place this under the eyebrow. Okay, and for lips, I'm just going to take this MAC, MAC, yeah, MAC, lip, not liquid, this MAC lipstick in the color Kinda Sexy. top it off with a little bit of the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Fairly Floss. So mix it up a bit. Just a little bit. I don't want too much gloss. Now I'm going to take some setting spray. This is just the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. You know, I love Morphe. Alright, now let's take out these pins, just to see. See? <laughs> They're not long enough to blend in with the rest of my hair, but too long to actually be bangs. Oh, but here is the final look, guys. Gives me super mermaid vibes. I'm absolutely loving this. Um, thanks again for watching, for listening, for tuning in. Um, don't really know what kind of video this was. Let's just call it a tutorial slash get ready with me. I have no plans for the rest of my day, so I'm just going to edit this and then probably have it up by the next day. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. You know, no pressure, but you should subscribe. But yeah, I have so much time on my hands now. I'll probably be uploading a lot more. Um, look out for a haul. Yesterday I just spent $100 on Shein. I bought like a bunch of shirts and some accessories. And yeah, so look out for that. I'll probably do a try on haul. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. My lips are totally dry. What is that? No sting, my shirt.